After a rough week for the president, Republicans are on the offense. Yesterday, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham introduced the Graham-McConnell resolution, co-sponsored by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. The resolution calls on the House to take a vote before further hearings, demands that Congress provide the president due process of the law, and asks that Republicans be granted full access to the proceedings. On Wednesday, a group of Republicans showed support for the president by storming into a private deposition. The conservatives were protesting the closed-door policies surrounding the testimonies. By golly, if they're going to do it, do it in public. Don't hide it from the American people. Show your face where we can all see the travesty that you are trying to foist on America and the degradation of our republic that you are engaged in. The demonstration in which the lawmakers brought in pizza and Chick-fil-A delayed Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense Laura Cooper's hearing by five hours. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisles showed disapproval towards these recent behaviors. They're in violation of House rules. The House parliamentarian has ruled that you just can't crash committees. I, I can't just go to any random committee and sit in. I can't walk into the Republican caucus and sit in. So they're just trying to be disruptive because the facts are not on their side. The law is not on their side. Cooper's eventual testimony confirmed Tuesday's statements made by Bill Taylor, the top U.S. diplomat to Ukraine. Taylor revealed that, president, that the president would not grant military aid to Ukraine until it publicly announced an investigation into Burisma, the company that employed Joe Biden's son, Hunter. This can be considered damning evidence of a quid pro quo. There's a lot of questions that this brings up, and, and it means more people have probably got to come back in and, and re-answer some questions. Ultimately, uh, there's a question about how uh, diplomacy should be conducted, and, and having an informal channel is, is not a good way of, of doing that. The president did not have kind words about the probe, calling it a lynching and raising fierce criticisms from racial justice advocates. Well, I think to have the president um, classify a constitutional remedy uh, to an unlawful, egregious act such as lynching is beneath the dignity uh, of the Office of President of the United States. But not all Republicans are on the president's side, and Trump had a few choice words for these seeming defectors. One of these never-Trumpers is Mitt Romney, former presidential candidate and Utah governor. Romney has been outspoken about the president's policies, and in return, the president responded with this vague tweet. The never-Trumper Republicans, though on respirators, with not many left, are in certain ways worse and more dangerous for our country than the do-nothing Democrats. Watch out for them, they are human scum. According to recent polling, 55% of registered voters approve the inquiry, up four points from a week ago. And this morning, House investigators subpoenaed three more administration officials. I'm Samantha Thomas. Back to you guys.